Is love possessive? Oh, I don't think so. It should be. I honestly think it depends on the type of love in your mind. Because if it's not possessive, it, it means that I'm going to allow you to go and do something out there. No, I don't think so. I think love is really freeing. But you're mine. You must act like a married man. I don't think love's possessive. I don't think love should be possessive, but it can become possessive when there isn't clear boundaries. Yes, I believe love is possessive. Why do you think it shouldn't be? Because it's not healthy to try and possess another human being. They're their own being. I think if one person becomes obsessive, I feel like there's a thin line between love and obsession. If you truly love someone, then you'll let them have their own life. You want to support them in whatever they're doing, not necessarily making it, oh, you love me, it's only me in your life. It can be. I don't know where the line is, okay. but it can be. Like having that balance with friends and family and everything. I think it depends on the person and the type of relationship you're wishing to pursue. You get different types of love. You get love for your friends, love for your family, or like a sexual partner. Give me a situation that love would be possessive. If the person's controlling, I guess it would be like a possessive type yeah. of love. It depends on who you're with. If you're with a possessive person and you just happen to fall in love with that person, then yeah, sure. A person can make it possessive, yeah. but the right kind of love, I think, shouldn't be possessive. The reason why I asked you this question is because we tend to fall out of love once we're no longer with the person. If we truly love someone, regardless of whether you are my girlfriend, the possessive part, or, you know, my wife, yeah. you'd still love them indefinitely. But once we lose the, the ownership of it, the love dies down. Do you think in that perspective, it's not possessive? It's really like, possessive, though, no. is it more like you protecting yourself? I don't like, think then you actually love the person because I feel like loving a person comes with you understanding that the person will change. They're not going to always be who you want them to be or who yeah. you thought they were and if you truly love a person you'll even if you're not in a relationship with them they'll still recognize okay bro you've changed but i still feel love with you it's literally like with your friends your friends go through so many changes but you don't stop being friends with them because they went through changes assurance on your end that i love this person and they're with me therefore they love me too could you love the person without the title but how do they know how do you know they don't love you back also, sometimes love can just be obsession and you think that it's love. Do you, do you think it's good that it's possessive or it's a bad thing? I think to an extent it's good. I feel like if people are possessive over you, it shows that they care about you. Yeah. But it shouldn't be too bad to the extent where they abuse you and control you. Uh, well, I think that depends on the relationship. If the relationship is more of like a, like a if it's like a trophy wife kind of situation where like you sh you only really with her to show her off and stuff like that, then... I think that's uh, where you could fall out of love because you don't really care for them. Yeah. You just want to like show them off. But if, if you actually do, if you get into, into relations for the right reason, you, you could fall out of love. I don't know. I haven't. Yeah. Um, I haven't before. I haven't now. I mean, make a valid point. But it, as much as there's that idea of my, as in we're in a relationship, you're part of me. It's like there is an ownership over that person. So yeah. you don't have claim over what they do with their life and how they live their life. It's with clear communication where it's become something where you both can do it parallel. So your yeah. lives mirror each other now. But I think it depends on why you're no longer with the person. If you broke up for a valid reason, for example, if you're like old and like not studying and you actually have jobs and you move over to another country, but you can't afford to bring a partner with you break up, then you can still love the person. Just because you're not together doesn't mean you don't have to love the person. Why do they have to love you back for you to love them? They don't, but I don't know. If you're ready for that risk, then sure. But I wouldn't do it personally. Why is it a risk? Because what if they don't love you back? Are you just playing games on your own? Do you, do you believe in unconditional love for like a romantic partner? I do. I think if you found the one, then love is unconditional. Even, even if you guys are not together, you still love them? Yeah. Really? I don't think you can stop loving someone. Okay. Unless they did you really bad. And you, and you stop. But I feel like yourself. if you really love someone, you guys ended the things, then I don't think like true love ever goes away. You love more people, but you don't stop loving. I feel like sometimes you'll be put in a situation that can make you think that love is unconditional, yeah. or you'll be put in a situation that makes you think love is conditional. Have you ever loved someone unconditionally, a romantic partner? No. Okay. <laughs> It's not me, guys. No. It's not me. Uh, no. Damn. Are you looking to do that one day? Or nah? To love a romantic partner unconditionally. Yeah. I think I am. One day. I don't know when. I can't yeah. speak. I can't speak too much because I just don't someone, know either. Someone's watching. No. No? No. Fine, you can love someone because of the benefits they give you. But 
when those benefits fall away you still have that clinging love after it fades away eventually but it still sticks for a while you think so yes how long is a while it depends it can be a year some people don't even get over others but the love starts to fade away because you're no longer with them right yes. so in that sense it is like in a sense possessive you're loving them under the condition that they're with you and then you love them for a little more and then once they're gone it dies it's dead yes because you find some as you kind of fall that void you know Damn. how many of your exes are you in love with <laughs> how would you if love never dies and it's not like conditional and circumstantial then you should still be in love with quite a few people are there a few exes you're still in love with no hell no okay then hell what no. are you saying no <laughs> you just I, I never loved any of them then crazy no, that simple. <laughs> no i'm gonna love you for you even some of my exes I wouldn't say I hate them because you know love I love them. Not love in their sense, but love as a person. I can't. I can't hate you. You just said you love your exes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> because I loved you once upon a time yeah. and everything, then there's there'll always be that space. Mm. Not that space as in you can come back any time or yeah. whatever. But like that thing that like I acknowledge that I loved you once, mm -hmm. and therefore that love in itself that once existed is still there yeah do you see a reality where you're no longer with your partner and you still love them and i still love them yeah i do yeah but i don't think i would like i don't see a future without her but <laughs> it's just a hypothetical yeah, no, yeah, bro. Guess, <laughs> you can be sweet <laughs> baby i'm not leaving you <laughs> so i believe that love is like a partnership where two people are just for each other yeah. in a sense that you're not allowed to talk to other people you're supposed to be exclusive with each other and you just believe that you guys should just be for each other do you think that's a good thing yes i do why because i don't think that being with multiple people is beneficial to anybody because okay. i feel like it's detrimental to yourself like sharing yourself with multiple people i feel like you should just have one person that you can share yourself with just like share all of your your inner turmoil all of your secrets everything just one person how does it become detrimental to yourself if you choose not to share yourself with what if you choose to share yourself with other people mm, how does i don't know because how do you space that out if you're studying and all that you're making time for different people all at once yeah. yeah can i be in love with someone without being in a relationship with them why is love lost after you guys are done being together I don't think necessarily love is lost. I think it's changed now. Okay. Love is such a. Do you love him? No. Okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no. <laughs> but love is such a big spectrum of things, and it's it adapts over time with experience and with understanding the person. Which you? Mm -hmm. And let's say we're in love for some weird reason, like. <laughs> Hypothetically, just bear with me. Like you're mm. like, oh, oh my mm. god, my Paki, I love you so much. But once we separate, mm -hmm. right, you the love almost dies or goes away. Do you think true love is unconditional, or we love under the brackets of just I love you because you're with me? I think I don't think it's okay to love people because they're with you. I think though, I don't know. I feel like this thing kind of has seasons. We can fall in love. And then it doesn't work out. And then you go to other people. But some, it doesn't have to mean... I don't know if it has to mean I love you no matter what. All the time. I don't know. Because I feel like that's the definition of unconditional love. I love you no matter what and all the time. I don't know. It's a very tricky question. I guess all love is conditional, eh? Even the love you have with your parents is conditional. Or they have for you under the condition that you're their child. You know, it's, I, I guess yeah. everything is give and take, transactional. There's no such thing as real unconditional love. Just, I don't know. We're just all capitalists. You, so. you never stop loving them. It just kind of changes. Is that not what love is? I don't think so. No? No. Okay. I, there's there's well, no one I'm in love with, I bro. Guess that is I think it is possessive. I don't think unconditional love exists. Why? I think it because, exists. In what sense? In this situation where you explain that even though we are not together, doesn't mean that I just don't love you. <sighs> how, how do you love them? How do you, like, how often do you think about your exes? How often do you think, like, what, what are you doing in the physical world that shows that you love? Or even in the mental world, I don't think it's, like, you can say, I love you, but how is that being practiced? What does that even mean? Right. Practices. I hear you. I hear you. So, 
What, what do you mean by oh no we're not together and i never maybe i can't you, relate because i'm like you. i'm not good in this department okay. <laughs> it's so easy for me to say this because i don't have a lot of references to yeah. look at with me i think unconditional love is there maybe i'm living in a fantasy yeah. but i think it is there and you can just love a person even though you guys are not together is there anyone you love unconditionally at the moment <laughs> uh, uh i choose not to answer this question 